So today what we're going to be learning about is for loops in Python. So what a for loop is, is it's a, a way of iterating or looping through um, a set of items. So for example, uh, I could have a list and I could iterate through it and I could count every item in the list. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between a while loop and a for loop. And a while loop is a loop that can be run forever and a for loop can't. A for loop will only run until it gets to the end of its uh, list of items to iterate through. So for example, if I said while true, uh, well I should also mention a while loop iterates until its condition is false. And so long as we say true, that means its condition is true and it will never be false. Because we haven't told it, it can never be false. So it'll always be true, so it'll print forever. So let's say something. And as you can see, it prints the word something out uh, forever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a list and I'm going to call it my list. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put items in it, and I'm going to call the first one Python, then the next one C, then the next one PHP, then the next one uh, JavaScript, then the next one C++, then the next one Java, then the next one C Sharp. Okay, so that's it, Andrew. And in the if we um, if we say print my list. As you can see, it prints out our list and we have seven items in our list. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a for loop to iterate through the list and count every item in it. So the first thing I need to do for that is I need to create a variable to store the count, uh, the current, the count in because that's just going to be incremented in the loop. So I'm going to create a variable called count and I'm going to set it equal to zero. Then what I'm going to say is for uh, item in lit my list actually. Um, then I'm going to say count plus equals one. So our, loop, our for loop just ran, and if we print uh, count, as you can see, it says seven because it counted every item in the list. So what's cool about a for loop is this variable here. This variable item, we never declared. We never declared it, it just, it's used by the for loop to represent uh, an item in the list. So for example, I could say, uh, for say I don't know Francis in my list print Francis and as you can see it'll print every item in the list because this variable is a placeholder it's the, the name of the variable doesn't mean anything it's just used to represent uh, every an item a specific item in the list and I just use the word item because uh, that's what it represents it's a more descriptive name than my name because my name has nothing to do with this list. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.